Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 1-79 from R.C. Hibaler Mechanics of Materials 10th edition. According to this problem, the soft ride suspension system of the mountain bike is pinned at C and supported by the shock absorber BD. If it is designed to support the load of 1500 newtons, we have to determine the factor of safety of pins B and C against failure. If they are made of the material having a shear failure stress of 150 MPa. Pin B has a diameter of 7.5 mm and pin C has a diameter of 6.5 mm. Both pins are subjected to the double shear. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the free body diagram. The point C is pin connected. So we have a horizontal support reaction and the vertical support reaction. Let's label them. So this right here is Cx and this is Cy. We also have a force due to this shock absorber. Shock absorber Bd. Let's call this Fbd. Now we have to resolve this FBD force into its components. So we have a vertical component and the horizontal component. Let's label them as well. So the vertical component is FBD sine 60 and the horizontal component is FBD cos 60. Now we can use our equations of equilibrium to determine the forces in the pins B and C. So my first equation is summation of moments at point C equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of Cx and Cy is passing through the point C, so these two forces do not have any momentum with respect to the point C. So Cx and Cy will not produce any moment about the point C. The vertical component of FBD force, which is FBD sin 60, is trying to rotate the frame in clockwise direction about the point C. So the moment produced by FBD sin 60 will be taken as negative. So negative FBD sin 60. And the moment arm is 100 millimeters, so 0 0.1 meters. Also, the horizontal component of FBD force, which is FBD cos 60, is also trying to rotate the frame in clockwise direction about the point C. So, the moment produced by FBD cos 60 will be taken as negative. So, negative FBD cos 60. And the moment arm is 30 millimeters, so 0 0.03 meters. The load P, which is 1500 newtons, is trying to rotate the frame in counterclockwise direction about the point C. So the moment produced by this force P will be taken as positive. So positive P and P is 1500. And the moment arm is 300 plus 100. So 400 millimeters or 0 0.4 meters equals to 0. So upon simplification we have negative root 3 upon 20 FBD negative 3 over 200 FBD plus 600 equals to 0. So force FBD comes out to be 5905.36 newtons. So FBD is the magnitude of the force in the pin B. Now we have to find the force in the pin C. So for that my second equation would be Summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have 
सी एक्स माइनस एफ बी डी कॉस सिक्सटी इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो सी एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एफ बी डी कॉस सिक्सटी एंड एफ बी डी इज फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन सो सी एक्स कम्स आउट टू बी टू नाइन फाइव टू पॉइंट सिक्सटी एट न्यूटन्स सिमिलरली वी हैव टू फाइंड द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन सी वाई सो फॉर सी वाई वी हैव समिशन ऑफ फोर्सेज इन वाई डायरेक्शन इक्वल्स टू जीरो आई एम कंसिडरिंग अप डायरेक्शन एज पॉजिटिव सो वी हैव एफ बी डी साइन सिक्सटी माइनस सी वाई माइनस दी फोर्स पी इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो सी वाई इज इक्वल्स टू एफ बी डी साइन सिक्सटी सो फाइव नाइन जीरो फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट थर्टी सिक्स इंटू साइन सिक्सटी माइनस दी फोर्स पी विच इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन्स So C Y comes out to be three thousand six hundred fourteen point two zero newtons. Now we have to find the magnitude of the force in the pin C. So for the magnitude, we will use the Pythagoras theorem. So let's say F C is equals to square root of C X square plus C Y square. So we have two nine five two point six eight square plus three six one four point two zero square, and upon simplification, the force in the pin C comes out to be four thousand six hundred sixty six point nine eight newtons. This is the magnitude of the force in the pin C. Now, before moving forward, we have to consider that both the pins are subjected to double shear. So, since both pins are subjected to double shear. So the shear force in the pin B, let's call this V B, is equals to F B D divided by two. So five nine zero five point three six divided by two. So the shear force in the pin B comes out to be two nine five two point six eight newtons. Similarly, we have to do the same for the pin C. So the shear force in the pin C is equals to F C divided by two. So we have four six 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 point nine eight divided by two. So the shear force in the pin C comes out to be two thousand three hundred thirty three. Point four nine newtons. Now we have to use these values for the allowable shear stress calculation. So allowable shear stress in pin B is equals to shear force V B over the cross sectional area of the pin A B. So the shear force VB is two nine five two point six eight newtons, and for the cross sectional area, we have been given the diameter. Let me zoom in. So diameter of the pin B is seven point five millimeters, 
and for pin C it's 6.5 millimeters. So the cross sectional area would be the area of circle. So pi by 4 into the diameter square. So as the diameter of pin B is 7.5 millimeters. So to convert the millimeters into meters, we have to divide by 1000. So we have 7.5 exponent negative 3 square. So allowable shear stress in the pin B comes out to be 66.84 exponent 6 pascals. Now we have to do the same for the pin C. So allowable shear stress in the pin C. The diameter of the pin C is 6.5 millimeters. So tau C is equals to shear force VC upon the cross sectional area of the pin C. So the shear force VC is 2000. 333.49 divided by pi by 4 the diameter of the pin C square so again we have to convert this millimeter into meters so we have to divide by 1000 so 6.5 exponent negative 3 square so allowable shear stress in the pin C comes out to be 70.32 exponent 6 pascals now we have to calculate the factor of safety now for the factor of safety for the pin b is equals to failure shear stress over the allowable shear stress in the pin b so failure shear stress is same for both of the pins and it is 150 mega pascals. So failure shear stress is 150 mega pascals. So 150 exponent 6 pascals divided by 66.84 exponent 6 pascals so factor of safety for the pin b comes out to be 2.24 so this is our first answer Now we have to do the same for the pin C. So factor of safety for the pin C is equals to failure shear stress over the allowable shear stress in the pin C. So failure shear stress is same as 150 mega pascals. So 150 exponent 6 pascals divided by 70.32 exponent 6 pascals. So factor of safety in the pin C comes out to be 2.13. So this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.